Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a new feature DJI introduced a couple of versions back on the Crystal Sky and the Go app, and it's called the D trans option and it is a method of being able to transfer your data from your crystal sky to your smartphone so if you're out in the field and you want to be able to transfer data across and you're using an iPhone like me that doesn't have an SD card slot there is a method of transferring the video cache and pictures from the crystal sky to your smartphone and the way it works is basically the crystal sky sets up its own little internal wi-fi network so what i'm going to do is walk you through it it's really simple and let's go have a look okay so as i said dtrans is a method of sending data wirelessly between your crystal sky and your smart device and the way it works is it sets up an ad hoc network on crystal sky that you connect your phone to and then you are able to navigate through dji go to all of the video files that are located on your crystal sky device so the first thing you need to do is turn the feature on so if you go into the third menu button on this side here and you will notice there's an option called dtrans so it's the third one along on the bottom. When we click into it, it gives us the option of switching it on or changing the settings. So if I click on settings, there's a couple of options that you can change. The first is the name of the Wi-Fi network it creates. Now you can't change the first part of the name. It will always be called Crystal Sky, but you can label it one, two, three, four, five, etc. The second option is to turn on or off encryption. So you've got the option of turning on WPA2 or leaving it off. Now for me, I've left encryption off because where I'm going to be doing this, I'm not worried about someone stealing my data because at the end of the day, they would have to have a copy of DJI Go and they'd have to know it was on and various things like that. However, if data security is an issue, you can turn on WPA2. So that is the settings. So what I now need to do is turn on this option. Now, for some reason, it is a little bit laggy when you turn it on. So if you come out and you will then notice the D-Trans turn blue to say that it is now switched on. So that is all you need to do on the Crystal Sky. The next thing to do is connect your phone so your iPhone or your Android phone to the Wi-Fi network that Crystal Sky has created. OK, so I've now switched over to my phone and I've gone into the Wi-Fi settings on my iPhone and you can now see that the Crystal Sky network is listed at the top called Crystal Sky Zero and I have connected to it. So the next thing you need to do then is open DJI Go 4. OK, so once you open DJI Go 4 and you're on the landing page, the first thing you need to do is go down to the editor at the bottom and click on that. And then under the album section, there is a little arrow with a square in the top left corner. If you click on that, it gives you the list of options what to import. So you can import from onboard SD, which I can't do on my iPhone, local photos, local video, which takes your iPhone's video cache, or the DJI display at the bottom. So if I click on DJI display and suddenly all of the videos that are listed on my Crystal Sky are now showing up on my iPhone and I can scroll up and down and at the option at the top I can click on photos. So if I wanted to import that photo I would simply click on it and then click on import at the bottom and then if I wanted to go onto videos click on display click on one of the videos, click import, and it would import the video for me just like that. One successful, no one failed. So it is that simple. And really, it's just a method of being able, whilst in the field, to transfer some of your video cache footage and things like that from your Crystal Sky onto your phone, and you could then upload it to Facebook or put it on social media straight away. So that is the D-Trans option now included on the DJI Crystal Sky Monitor. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will do another video again soon.